sustainable development is about how we might think about economic, social, and environmental progress, um, and how we might make sure that all of those things are covered as we build a future that's better for ourselves. My name is Elena Lynch. I'm a senior research manager at SDSN. Sustainability, and specifically at SDSN, we look at the Sustainable Development Goals, which are a series of 17 goals that were developed with 193 countries, uh, the U.S. being one of them, to try and figure out how we might build a sustainable future. And so each of these goals uh, covers an element of sustainability. So some of the goals that are included are um, end poverty and hunger. Other things are around ending climate change or addressing climate change, ending inequality, creating peace, justice, and um, strong institutions. So they really cover almost every aspect of human flourishing. And the idea is that if we think about all of these things simultaneously, if when we're building a water a project to develop clean water, and we also think about how that impacts gender inequality, and we also think about how that impacts climate change, if we think about them all at the same time, then we have the opportunity to build a future that might be sustainable for all of us, a future that where everyone can thrive, um, several generations um, looking forward. So overall, um, in the top 20 countries, 19 of them are OECD countries. Um, the top three countries consistently are the Nordic countries, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. They tend to bounce around a bit, but those are always at the top of the list. Um, if we're talking generally about OECD countries, they tend to do better because they have, they're have high income countries. So they have more resources to address and provide for the needs of the people in their, those countries. They also have policies that work to provide service to cover basic needs such as health, housing, and infrastructure. And those are really the backbone of the SDGs. So um, that really contributes to their higher score. Housing is part of um, goal 11, which is sustainable cities, but also plays a role in so many other SDGs. In the US, nearly half of households are rent burdened. So half of the people watching this are probably in, directly impacted by the affordable housing crisis that we're facing in the U.S. Um, and this has implications across all sorts of areas so that it has implications for students going to school and um, that has implications for women particularly because women with children are most likely or often um, the first to be evicted. It has implications for climate change because how are we building um, new homes and where are we building them and with what materials? So all of these things are um, really intrinsically connected. When we look at hunger and hunger rates, which are increasing in the U.S., um, one of the major drivers of hunger in the U.S. is that people are reallocating the money they might use for food to their housing. So um, if we were to address affordable housing, we'd also be addressing hunger. So the, I think um, it's baked in directly to the, what we measure in terms of rent burden, homelessness in the report, but it's also there in all sorts of other um, issues within the SDG. In terms of what we all can do, I think when we're thinking about how we approach this problem, it's good to think about the context and how we got to this problem. And if we think about the foundation of a house, what laid the, the blueprint, what we're all building upon. The United States was built upon displacing people from their land so they could build homes for other people. So the foundation of the U.S., the um, displacement of, and genocide of indigenous peoples created the conditions where um, some people had homes and some people didn't. And unless we're willing to think about that, talk about it, and really um, deeply address how the roots of that show up and all the other things that we're doing, it's gonna be difficult for us to make changes. That being said, there are so many people and groups that are, are trying to address this. Um, I'm thinking about a land trust in um, California where people um, pay a tax or a small portion of their income every month to help um, create land that's communal land. I'm thinking of a, uh, tenant co-ops where tenants are working together um, to think about how they might use collective power to have more reasonable rent. Um, I'm thinking about workers co-ops where workers are working together to think about how they might raise their own wages and make a livable wage so they can afford to work um, and to live. 
if I could ask everybody in the world to do something, it would be to join a group. What we're going to have to do to build a sustainable world is work together and we need to start practicing. So it really doesn't matter if it's your hockey team or a sewing circle or the um, homeroom group. It really doesn't matter, but what we really need to do is practice being together and working on solutions together. And so I would just suggest that whatever that means for you, um, find a group you can be part of and start showing up to it. Stay up to date with our latest Solutionaries videos. Hit subscribe and leave us a comment below.